I know one of the key points that also clients and people talk about is what we call our cycle time, which means the moment we, you give us a referral or a patient to deal with, how fast can you get that person through the whole system to be able to get them an eligibility? That is really, really important because that sits on their AR all this time until you get them eligible. I think we pick up on that better than any other company. We've reduced that cycle time from a time when, from an areas of, of where it would be above 60 days, 70 days. We've shortened that time in most cases to uh, under 45 days, which is quite significant. It's quite significant for uh, a number of reasons. Number one, obviously it, it helps patients to close out whatever type of outstanding issues they have out there quicker and, and more completely. Uh, it helps the hospital with their, with their money in terms of getting it in a timely fashion. So cycle time is so important for the follow-up care for the patient. So the faster we get the referral, the faster we can see the patient and gather the documents we need to process the application to the state. Um, but the importance of it is getting the patient enrolled in an insurance right away. So this way they can receive the proper follow-up care so they're not readmitted to the hospital because they don't have insurance. Um, it also helps the hospital because the patients are then coming back to their sites for services and then it also helps with reimbursement. Cycle time is really important because again, here's another branch or arm of what HRSI has to do. They have to build that relationship with the county assistance office. When you have a, a contact that you can go into, uh, speak about a particular account that's running close to a, a, a lengthy time that may have to go into appeal process, you want to try and head that off and that's basically what they're able to do when they know the people that they work with at the accounting assistance offices. The applications that we submit, the more complete and accurate that we know they are, the time that they go to the county assistance office to, to go through the approval process, the better likelihood we have, we feel, that they'll get turned around quicker. If we give them incomplete information, if we give them information that we'll have to get back to them on, that just delays our time. And we found it through our experience, the best way to be able to, to have the process go as quickly and as efficiently as possible is to make sure that we do our homework up front and we do all of our work up front accurately and, and correctly. So the applications that we submit are good. They, and as a result, we have county assistance offices and, and other organizations that evaluate our work when we're applying for funding for somebody. And they know when they see an application from HRSI, they know what they expect. They, they, they understand that the package for that application of information that they're going to be receiving is going to be accurate, it's going to be complete, and it's something that they can turn around um, very quickly.